What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's me, Just Jarek. It's been a while, but here's the reason why. This is my brand new car. I hope you guys like the beauty shots. As you can see, this is a Mercedes-Benz CLA 180 shooting brake. Why shooting brake? It's uh, a station wagon, but with the coupe lines or coupe lines. It's a five door, this has a lot of space. Something that I was after, because uh, my previous car, the Mini John Cooper Works, was obviously very cool and good looking, but uh, it had a lack of space. The amount of horsepower was perfect, 211 brake horsepower. This one, 122 brake horsepower. It's also what I thought, a 1.6 liter turbo engine with an automatic transmission, 7 speed, so you know, it has a lot of torque, it's, it's good. Uh, and you don't buy this car to, to drive really, really fast. It's not an AMG. It is an AMG line though. As you can also see on the wheels, it has the AMG line 18 inch wheels. Beside that, the car has the night pack. So what does that mean? It has the black tinted windows from factory. And I think it looks really cool. Black on black, never go back. That was a joke. <laughs> Obviously, no, but I think on a serious note, the car is really, really good looking uh, with the black night pack and the AMG line wheels. And also what you show right now, the, the very nice uh, rear end with the double exhaust tips. Maybe later on, I want to change it with an AMG diffuser kind of uh, rear end. But I really like how subtle it is and still looks aggressive. You can also see these small vents come with the AMG pack. So the AMG line pack, it has the exterior um, look from the AMG also on the front, which you uh, will see later on. And uh, I think it's really, really good looking car. It has the nice chrome uh, window sills or trim, whatever you want to call it. So it has the accent. Normally the night packs comes with the black trim. Uh, personally, I don't like it, but um, yeah, it's a used car. So I was very lucky that this car had the aluminium finish ones. So what I said, the front also equipped with the AMG front bumper. So it's pretty aggressive looking. Also has the parking sensors and has the LED high performance headlights. So, perfect view at night time. Beside that, the diamond grill. I think a very, very nice feature. Well, it's not really a feature, but aesthetic. Uh, normally the night pack also comes with, with this in black, not this one. The small lines are in aluminium, but they've painted this black. So, just a little bit different, but um, very good looking. So, this is the outside. Well, one more, one more thing, actually. It has the panoramic sunroof. Which we can open like this. We can just tilt it, or we can pop it completely open and it moves to the back. I think that's the exterior. Like I said, it has a lot of space. Something that I wanted after my Mini John Cooper works. Uh, that was sometimes just a big issue when you want to put suitcases in, the groceries or whatever you want to put in there. People in the back, yeah, that's the problem. As we've seen in the video, check it out by the way. And uh, well, let's take a look at the interior, shall we? Welcome on the inside of the car. Uh, where do we start? As you can see from the inside, it also has the Alcantara combined with leather and the red stitching. 
uh, rest contrast stitching. Also in the mid console, it's an armrest which you can also pop open. But in the front for the driver's position, you first see the flat bottom AMG look uh, steering wheel. It has a multifunctional steering wheel, so it has the buttons for volume up, mute volume, take up, uh, take a call, hang up, uh, voice control, and also this uh, thing you can control the main screen of the the car. So you have. Uh, ESP control, you can see your tire uh, pressure, uh, assist plus, whatever, everything is almost in there. Also service, when you have your next service, uh, your phone, who's calling, navigation, your current track that you are playing of music, you can see your route here if you have something, uh, something on, you can see how far you've traveled on your tank or your entire travel distance. Uh, fabric of oh, fabric. I mean uh, <laughs> the, <laughs> the, the settings for the uh, factory factory settings, and uh, yeah, that's almost it. You can see the very nice black clusters, and uh, on the, in the in the middle of the dashboard, you can see the big navigation entertainment screen. You have two. Variants here, you have a smaller one, and this is the big screen. You can control it via the big button in the mid console, as you can see over here. This button can control the time, the settings of the vehicle, etc. Um, so that's pretty handy. What is not handy is that the buttons to change the screen are placed over here. So these two are connected, to do the, they control the same display. But um, yeah, it's not really that handy. So you have your telephone over here. You can see the telephone screen. You have the navigation, you can press over there. But now to confirm it, you have to press in the mid console button. So those two are not very logical uh, setup wise. What else do we have? We have the heated seats. So three functions, heated seats. We have the parking sensors that we also have shown in the front of the car. We also have them in the back. We also have the, the rear camera. It pops out and you can turn the sensors on or off with this button. So when you're in the car wash, for example, which I was a couple of minutes ago, then you can press this button. So the, the uh, brushes or whatever you want to call them don't warn every single time. Uh, this is dynamic select. So you can change the, the settings of the car. So, uh, well, I turn, just turn it on, as you can hear, and then it changes over here. So, that changes over here. Then I will select Comfort, Sport, Individual, and Eco. Eco-friendly. Well, it also pops in the middle. It does. So, Eco, you have Comfort, you have Sport, and individual and here you can change every setting with the mid console button again so you can drift your driving or your um, uh, your drive line uh, you can change the steering wheel how heavy it steers uh, eco start stop function on or off and the climate control uh, normally I drive in what do I have on eco oh damn I drive eco friendly uh, <laughs> <laughs> the steering wheel I've turned to, to hard, so it gives you some feedback. Uh, start, stop function off. That's an error. Start, I have to go to service. Uh, start, stop function I've off. And uh, climate control I have to eco. I don't know exactly what it does, what it does change, if it's getting colder or uh, Iceland cold or whatever, but it is how it is. So you can go back with the small arrow, arrow over here. We also have the uh, controls for, for calls and stuff like that. And uh, of course, the air conditioning and uh, yeah, climate control. Um, what I also like is these very nice air vents. You can move them around. You can turn it to lock or left for open, and then you can just move them around. I think they're a very nice touch. Also with the aluminum finish and trim over here. Uh, beside that, it has this bar. I don't know what they call it, but that's for the uh, parking sensors. It does beep, but only if you're close to an object for like 30 centimeters. And this one gives you lights. So you have 
like five or six lights and when it turns red then you really have to stop and you can go further um, so what else you can also see them in the back which we will show later uh, it has a CD player in it, it has a small slot for an SD card and of course has some storage compartments also here in the front a small one with the 12 volt charger point and there's a over here and underneath the armrest over here so I have my sunglasses in there and has two USB ports one for charging and the one for connecting your device which I think is not really different you can charge them in both ports uh, but um, yeah it is how it is so let's hop out of the car and see how many leg room we have in the back because we have plenty of it right now and that as you've seen in the previous video i hope you did the mini uh, it's a uh, three doors and so it's not really handy this one five doors obviously and much more space it's a different kind of car uh, i think i've already mentioned that but um I was really, um, I, I wanted this, I want a bigger car, uh, I can put people in the back, <laughs> well they can hop in the back and I can put something in the back of the car, in the trunk, or oh, in the yeah, trunk is what it's called, yeah I think so. So that's the main reasons why I bought this car and I wanted to have it, still have a sporty look to it, uh, I could have gone with the, with, the coupe, with the coupe version, so the sedan. But um, I ended up with the shooting brake and I think for a small um, kind of, what do you call it, station wagon, it's a really, really good and aggressive looking car, especially with the front. If you see those LED beam headlights in your rear view mirror, you know, you know it's a Mercedes and uh, it's about to, to happen and uh, it's a small beast. For in the future, a small tuning chip will do the trick. It goes from 122 brake horsepower to like 175. So uh, yeah, this is my brand new car. I think a couple of more videos about this car will come. Maybe, maybe five things that I hate. Maybe the five things that I really like about this car. Uh, I have it for a couple of months now, I think two or three. So um, we will get into it that later on or maybe different cars like a ferrari i don't know <laughs> well this was this was it for now uh please subscribe to the channel if you haven't like subscribe comment do whatever you want to do if you have any questions about the car i'm there i will answer in a couple of hours of time and uh see you next time cheers